Hey there YouTube, today we're going to be doing the unboxing of the Nike SB Blazer but the Club 58. Let's go and do it. Hey there YouTube, it's Mr. B from Pint of Stuff here and today we've got another unboxing for you, this time the Nike SB Blazer Club 58. But if you're new to this channel, in fact if you're not new and you haven't subscribed and you come and look at these videos all the time, why don't you subscribe if you've not subscribed? Doesn't really make sense. Yeah, that doesn't make sense at all. And if you have subscribed there, SJ on Sneak Camp, hey, how are you today? Good, thanks. Excellent. You might want to hit the notification bell. YouTube does that thing where it doesn't tell people who've, who have subscribed that we've uploaded videos. We tend to upload videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and we stream on Sundays there, camera too. However, we've been a bit slack over the last couple of weeks, and the Thursday upload has been sort of a Friday, Saturday upload. So nobody wants to hear about that. All we want to do is get to the unboxing. So shall we speed up the video, SJ, on sneaker cam about now? <laughs> Okay, we're back. So, as you could tell, I unboxed it upside down as usual, but let's get to this. So, I did pick these up from Note in Manchester, and there's a very good reason why I did that, and we'll get to that. But before we actually get out to the shoe, just for everybody, they are a Nike SB Zoom Blazer Mid Quick Strike. They're a US 11 and a half. That makes them a UK 10 and a half. Color is Sequoia FLT Gold. Don't know what that is. And the code number is AH6158369. And just so you can see, they do have a UK price on. So note, definitely always putting the price on. Okay, the box is slightly mangled. There we go. So first thing to say everyone with these, and it's just a random thing there, camera two, but we don't actually have the woodcut paper. I don't know why. It just is. Right, so we're going in, so I'm gonna get them both out. First of all, first impressions, this green is a lovely green. That's all I'm gonna say. We're gonna get rid of the box. We're just gonna put these there. So, these are the Blazer SBs, Nike SBs, obviously, in Sequoia Green. I'm gonna say it's more of a, like an antique gold. They are described as the Club 58. Now, what is that? What is that? Well. I can't tell you for sure what that is, but I can tell you where these shoes have come from. So these shoes and this sort of design is a result of a collaboration between four shops. And in fact, what I read online is actually it was a competition. Nike SB actually took out to Barcelona last year, so 2017 I believe, a bunch of employees from different shops, put them together to create different shoes. And this was the winning design. Now it might look to you like a normal blazer, but there's a lot of details on this. But before we dive into that, just a shout out to the four shops. So the four shops, it's and actually the guys, it was Charlie O'Donnell from Note. My brain is like a sieve at the moment. Total sieve. Eric Westman from Street Lab. Jan Filaxan from Riot. Supreme and Callum Francis from Club 58. Now apparently they got together and won a competition in Barcelona. Basically what I read is, is that obviously if you work in a skate shop a long time, you have a lot of opinions on shoes. Nike SB realizes this and they kind of pull the guys together to effectively take all of their thoughts and combine things together to make in theory a better skate shoe. The guys were really obsessed with 90s culture and so this is more of a 90s inspired shoe again. I lived through the 90s. I'm not seeing those cues. They're just a really nice blazer. I am that old, honestly. So SJ on sneaker cam. The first thing to say is this isn't your standard blazer midsole. It's ribbed in some way. Have you got that on sneaker cam? It's ribbed here. Yeah, you can see that. What we've also got is we've got a really nice sequoia green suede here. It's, it's quite shaggy, but not too shaggy. That makes no sense, camera one. Quite shaggy, but not too shaggy. I think if you just look on sneaker cam, so on the shot that we're giving you now, you can see what I mean. It's a really soft suede. So it's a really soft suede. It feels really nice. That's Sequoia Green. What we've then got is, is the same kind of suede on the swoosh, on that antique gold. I'm calling it antique gold, everyone. Swoosh. So that's the first thing to see. The other thing to note is on the toe box. So a bit like the XTC, I think that's what we, the XTC blazer, which uses more of a rubber material on the toe. 
the guys have actually reinforced it with what feels like new buck or it's it's a much smoother suede and sj on sneaker cam can you see the nap there moving that's a really really nice touch we've also got flat waxed laces camera two i'm just going to bring that to you so you can see these again and nike sb seem to be loving these these flat waxed type laces at the moment really nice laces there we've got the the gold antique gold lace caps here oh that's what i call them so you can see that camera on sj sneaker cam so that's really nice They've left the tongue very deliberately unfinished on the edge. So you can see that there. Oh, there's, there's so much to this shoe, actually. We're now looking at the, the tongue tab. It's a smooth suede. Again, um, inside, okay, so we're coming in. So SJ on sneaker cam's got that again. It's lovely smooth suede there. I would say the quality of these blazers is pretty top notch. You know, they're really, really nice. Another little detail that they've I don't know if this is going to... Right, I'm going to look in the other shoe because I'm, it doesn't look like it's going to highlight greatly on that one. I'm just seeing if the printing on the other shoe is any better. Maybe. Maybe. Let's have a look. Let's have a look there. Okay. SJ. Now, you're going to have to do your best filming here because it is really, really light. So, can you see where it says cut here? Which is just there. Now, in theory, everyone, the cut here is so that you can cut this, so you can cut the top of this down and put this into the chucker shape. So it's slightly lower, so not low, not a mid, but that kind of that mid, in between a mid and a low. Personally, I don't think I'm gonna cut them down, but you could go a little bit DIY, and obviously, you know, that's a nod to 90s culture, and certainly early 90s culture, where it was very DIY. If I think about grunge in particular, everyone was just doing their own thing. And even with with uh, rave culture at the time, it was all about putting on your own parties, etc. Okay, we go to the back of the shoe. We've got like a, a little metal thing here. I don't know what you call this. I don't know what you call it. And then we've got finally the Nike is much lower than normal, everyone. So I'm going to take this to you, camera two. You can see there, right? Nike would normally be be positioned slightly higher up on the heel, but. But in theory, if you cut these down along there, so just along the edge there to make that chucker profile, you will still have Nike on the back there. So that's just like, just a slight design detail. I think it's really interesting. Apparently the guys had an hour to effectively come up with, with the concept of what these shoes were. They spent time with, with Nike, Nike SB designers in Barcelona and they had an hour to come up with effectively what this profile would be. What we've also got, just, just for everyone to see, we've got the classic gum sole sorry camera one i'm not talking to you a lot today classic gum sole there so that's really nice and then finally let's just have a look at the inner sole no surprises zoom heel unit but let's have a look there so project 58 you can see that there sj that sequoia green though it follows on through and we're going to put that back in there so overall you know these weren't you know i know it was a quick strike drop and these initially dropped on on skate stores i actually think that's really nice i think actually looking at the tongue the tongue might be higher as well if you look at that the tongue is definitely higher can you see that camera one and again i think to match the the ability to cut down in theory the edge of this shoe as, as we said i think you can cut down the tongue as well if you so wish i actually really like that oversizedness of the tongue a really nice little detail that it just shows you just the thought that they've put into these shoes. So let's have a look at them side by side. SJ, give us a nice sort of shot, whatever one calls it. I should really be talking through this. So yeah, as we can see, like they're just a beautiful pair of shoes. It's funny to describe shoes as beautiful, but like just take a look at those camera one. No one wants to see my ugly mug, but like look, have a look at that. Like they are a stunning pair of shoes. I think, though, I'm going to put these up until like the fall, autumn. It's funny, I forget where I am. Am I in, am I back in the US? Am I in the UK? Because at the moment, given the temperatures in the UK, these are just too damn hot to wear. This suede is so nice. This might be, for suede, some of the nicest suede that they've actually put on a blazer for a while. Smell the glue. Always a classic sign. Yeah, smell really good today. It's the summer, the heat's getting to me. So, people, 
What do you think? It's a nice blazer, isn't it? It's a nice colorway. You can't go wrong really with a classic Sequoia and, and gold, you know, that green and gold. It just works really, really well. I think it's a really nice shoe. So I'm just gonna put that down there while SJ does her thing. And just, um, you know, thanks for, Thanks to everyone out there, guys. Like, really, really appreciate everyone subscribing recently. Um, the channel's on the move, so so to speak. And uh, I think that's, you know, that's a testament to you guys out there, really putting your faith in us and subscribing. And if you've made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed, um, we do tend to put out videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we stream on Sundays, usually about 8 p.m. On, on UK time, which on the Pacific coast in the US, that's about midday, 12 p.m., 12, anyway, around lunchtime. And on the East Coast, that's about 3 p.m. So um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, just you, you might wanna do that there. Um, you might wanna hit the old notification bell, just give it a bit of a, a smack. And if you're on Instagram and you've made it this far and you're wondering, yeah, I really like a bit of Instagram. It's really my thing. You might just want to look up Pint of Stuff because we're on there as well. Uh, yeah, we are, we are. We're on Twitter as well, but um, the social media manager is a bit slow on, on Twitter. I'm looking at you, SJ. Uh, yeah, so people, um, until the next video, I'll see you later. Thanks a lot. Bye. See you, SJ. I, d I can't help but make noises. <laughs> I just make noises. That's all right, isn't it?